Um, Santa Claus? No! I just saw the big bad wolf heading towards the cottages at the end of the stone path. You saw what? Really, June? Yes, and not just that, I also saw Little Red Riding Hood. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Tell us everything you saw. I saw Little Red Riding Hood skipping down the dirt path. She was carrying an empty basket of bread and she was wearing her favorite red hood and cape. She was so happy that she didn't see anyone around her, not even the hidden wolf. She just hopped towards the stone path. Just as she had taken the path, the wolf came out of the bushes. Little Red Riding Hood will buy bread for her grandmother again. Today, I will eat her for sure. I will go to her grandmother's house and pretend to be her. Then, I will wait for Little Red Riding Hood to come. What she does, I will eat her. Oh no, that's terrible. We should go warn her. Great idea, Joe. Let's go, guys. Yes, let's go. We are not too late. It's been a few minutes since I saw her go to the stone path. Don't worry. She normally buys fresh bread from the baker before going to her grandma's. We'll check there first. Bread? Oh, do you mean Little Red Riding Hood? Yes. Have you seen her today? Yes. She came in a little while ago. She was very happy today. She said she will pick some flowers from the garden on the way to her grandma's. Thank you, sir. I think we should head straight to the house. Yes, let's go there and wait for her to come. Look there! Someone's entering Grandma's house! It's the wolf! What's he doing in there? Let's hurry! We are still very far! Better to hear you with, dear. Come 
little closer to you now. But Grandma, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you, dear. And what about the nose? What a big nose you have. All the better to smell you with, my dear. But what big teeth you have, Grandma? All the better to eat you with. Just like I ate your grandmother before you came in. Nearby cutting the trees, I heard you scream, so I rushed here. Come, I will take you home. So the wolf ate her grandma and dressed like her to fool Little Red Riding Hood. Yes, she was lucky that the woodcutter was here. Let's go home, guys. The wolf really scared me. I agree. Let's just go. Mine. Where has Joe gone? He said he'd take us somewhere special for breakfast. Shall we go see if he has eaten it all on his way back? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, guys. I have been waiting for Baker Lady to open the shop, but she hasn't come yet. I was just asking around why. This is what they told me. This happened right before I came here. The Baker Woman baked bread for her family. Her husband and her son are sitting at the dining table. There is some dough left. I will bake something special for you. There. I will bake a gingerbread man for you. I will use these round candies as his eyes and give him a smile made from sugar frosting. Thank you, Mother. Please bake it quickly. I can't wait for it. Best as you can, but you cannot catch me. I am the gingerbread man. <laughs> oh, Joe. This could happen to only you. Why don't we all run after him? 
I don't mind. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Do you know which way the gingerbread man went from here? Yes, yes, I saw him and a whole family of three running after him. They took the road towards the town hall. Thank you, sir. Run, run as best as you can, but you cannot catch me. I am the gingerbread man. I am hungry working on this farm since the morning. Let's go get him. <laughs> run, run as fast as you can. But you cannot catch me. I am the gingerbread man. Ruff, ruff. Best as you can, but you cannot catch me. I am the gingerbread man. Run, run as fast as you can, but you cannot catch me. I am the gingerbread man. Red man doing? Does he really want to be eaten? Isn't he afraid somebody will really eat him? Yum. That gingerbread man looks so inviting. I must eat him. But there are already so many people behind him. We must find another way. Huh? How should I cross this river now? Why don't you hold on to my tail as I swim and cross the river? Uh, okay! level. Why don't you jump on my back? I'm getting wet again. Oh, it must be the water level. Why don't you jump on my nose? I will keep it out of the water. Are you okay now? Yes, this is better. <laughs> oh no! Did you really want to eat the gingerbread man, Joe? <laughs> Don't worry, sugar. I am sure we'll find Joe something else to eat. Why don't you play with your toys? They are old, and I have played with them all. I need something new. <sighs> okay. 
I will give you the most expensive toy of them all. But promise you won't break it or lose it. Yes, Daddy! I promise! Here, take it. to get the ball back. Hmm. I think the frog wants to say something. <laughs> Dear princess, I could get the ball for you, but you must promise to give me whatever I ask for. Yes, yes! I would do anything for my golden ball! Please get my ball back! to do for you. I used to be a prince. But a witch casted a spell on me and turned me into a frog. Uh -huh. Only if a princess takes care of me for three days, I will turn into a prince again. Uh -huh. I've been waiting for that day for so long now. Oh, dear frog, you must tell the princess about this. <sighs> she will never believe me, but I think I know what to do. I will have to go to the castle. <laughs> what do you want, little frog? Here to meet the princess. 
princess. Please, let me in. Okay. What a lovely supper. Could I please join? How dare you interrupt our supper? Dear King, I helped the princess, and the princess had promised me that she would do anything for me. Darling, what is this frog talking about? Daddy! The frog helped me get my golden ball from the pond. I made him a promise to do whatever he says. But then she walked away. So I have to come here myself. Darling, you should never break promises. <sighs> yes, Daddy. Thank you, dear princess. You freed me from the spell. I don't understand! Remember the frog who came and stayed here for three days? That was me. Huh? A witch had put a spell on me, and it would only break if a princess took care of me. And you did. I am so grateful to you. Little frog, you are so charming. I mean, prince. <laughs> Thank you, my dear king, for everything. Could I request you to give me your daughter's hand in marriage? I shall take her to my castle and make her the queen. Young prince, you have my permission. Dear princess, would you like to be my queen? Friends. <laughs> <laughs> 